Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. Well, Millie Moo, this isn't going to get anything tidied up, is it? Do you think we maybe ought to start taking some decorations down and packing things away? Are you going to say hello? No, you don't want to say hello today. You don't want to say hello today. Oh, 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 we might do. Oh dear, look at that tummy. Full of Christmas dinner. <laughs> You've got your little snack there that you're guarding, yeah, just in case that pesky Jane plan advert comes on the telly, huh? Okay, yeah, you've ruffled up all this blanket, look to get comfy. But I think really we ought to do some uh, taking down of Christmas decorations. What do you think? Shall we start taking down some Christmas decorations? Okay, well everybody, thanks for stopping by. So we are going to start... Taking bits and pieces down, yeah. Oh, is it boring? Okay. <laughs> right, so these uh, little light-up wreaths that I've got, instead of using the chain on them, I just used command strips. If you're careful, you can keep the command strip on the back so you only need one half next year. Um, these are cheaper versions of command strips. These were some Amazon own ones. Um, I tend, you don't need the huge ones for something this size because if you look at the weight on them, uh, you do tend to find that uh, they do hold the weight and this has been up all since Christmas. So that will be staying on, but that's the fluffy side. Proper command strips, the real ones, have two like um, what I call the raspy side, the hard side. You can hear that under my thumb look there. And they just clip together and they... Uh, do really well and stay on the walls whereas the cheaper ones you tend to get a soft side and a hard side so next year I'm going to need the hard side to be able to put this one up if you get my meaning <laughs> okay now then let's have a look at this one because these are the cheaper ones and sometimes they take the paint off with them and sometimes they don't so I'm just going to try and take it off really really carefully so it depends again how long they've been up but, uh, I thought, oh that one's done really well so there's no mark on the wall from that one so that's this bit this bit will have to be thrown away though you can't reuse these um they are designed just really for like a single use which is why i thought oh i'll get some cheaper ones but cheap isn't always necessarily better yeah, because, uh, hmm, okay. I suppose you could maybe find something to stick on that because that's the rough side of the Velcro. I don't know. No. Stop keeping things, Liz. <laughs> uh, the Scotty Dog's going to stay up for now. These, I need to find the little carrier sheet to put them back on these stickers. Uh, my December sign, it is uh, December the 31st today. Happy New Year's Eve. Oh, my goodness. So that will be replaced by January tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so yeah, all I'm doing with this, these have got a command strip on as well. If you remember, this was the broken one. I actually sealed this one while it was on the wall as well. <laughs> I'd forgotten about it and I thought, oh, rather than take it down, I'll seal it while it's on the wall. Now this has got two command strips on. I think I've just broken it again. Yes, I have, because it was broken in the middle. So, usually, yeah, I have I've just snapped this again. Whoa! Maybe I have to get another one for next year. Never mind. Yeah, usually I would only leave the one little one on because that's all you need for something this weight and this size. But because it was broken, when I put it on with just the middle one, um, it did start wobbling, so I put the extra one on as well. So that's a... Oh, no, it's not. That's a cheap command strip because that's got a soft bit and that's got a hard bit. So I will leave both of those on because I may use either of them for next year. So let's see which one we're going to take down. Let me take... I'm going to try taking both of them down and I'll put a complete new one on for my January as I say, when I did October, November, December, I actually just left the little one up and uh, did that. So, yeah, I have been asked which command strips I use and what I actually, yeah, uh, yeah, that one, oh, nearly took the paint off. We've got a little bit of a mark there, but not too bad. 
so yeah i have been asked which command strips i use and how i use them uh, i use as little as possible if i'm honest now this is quite a big plate i would normally use two hands as well which is quite possibly why the uh, oops the, th the thing has uh, come why the sign has actually snapped so this one's got a fluffy one on it so next year i will need to get a rough one okay so yeah that was my lovely wreath this is sealed yes it is again you can always use the chains and um, command strips do actually do a chain i do actually do like little hooks which are very very good so let's see if this one comes off you can see look where i've had other things hung up uh where it's taking the paint off the wall so that's not very good but i think this might have been a proper command strip yes it was yeah the proper ones do just come off the wall without taking the paint off yeah, okay a lovely box it's a collapsible box i think it was like a hamper chocolate hamper or something that somebody bought us one year and it does have a lid and it lives on top of my wardrobe but it fits a huge amount of stuff in it so yeah i'm going to start putting some of the wreaths and things in first so i put my biggest ones in the bottom uh, try and keep the chains on the outside so that one will... i don't put anything in between them because say they are sealed anything with batteries make sure i take the batteries out and i put the battery packs to the side of the box so that uh, it just keeps those safe as well so wires don't get pulled all right so i sealed all my uh, halloween key rings that i realized i'd not sealed yesterday i finally sealed my mirror and then, yeah, I sealed all my Christmas key rings and everything on camera the other day. I got November down because I'd forgotten to seal that. I've sealed my gloves as well. So, as you can see, it is still bendy. That's the difference between using an actual, like, crystal art sealer and using, say, a varnish. Because if that was a varnish on there, that would be really, really sort of cracking um, and uh, wouldn't be bendable, wouldn't be malleable, shall we say. So, yeah, that's that done. Finally got my cup done as well. So, that uh, is now all in there and all sealed. So, yeah, we're doing okay. We're uh, starting to pack up now, take things down. So, again, these have just been put up with one command strip. Oh, I have they got two on. No, this one's got two on. Not quite sure. I think this is because last year I put two on it. So, this year I've put two Again, these are the fluffy ones, so I'll need the scratchy ones. But that can just go in the box there. I tend to buy a mixed box and I tend to, throughout the year, be looking on Amazon and things like that. They are quite expensive, to be fair, if you buy the real ones. Depends how long, yeah, that one's taken a little tiny bit off there, look. So we're going to be painting and uh, putting a little bit of filler in again so maybe these weren't the real ones i'll have to mark them as say it's been a bit of a rush this christmas and i've just been uh, yeah you've got to pull that bit you see that one's not left any mark did this one have one or two this has got two on it as well they don't really need it one at the top is plenty on these uh, little reeds and they do just literally peel off the backs of these as well if you do want to just take them completely off and start again next year so that one's come off okay and let's see if this one will come off yeah you need to try and pull the underneath because it's the underneath that sort of like is the non-tacky bit as it were yeah they've come off yay right this big picture i never did get a 40 by 40 frame as you can see it was ironed but i've obviously not ironed it properly my iron is not the best so i have got little bits of creases um i used one of the silver borders all the way around the edge now because this one is a larger one i did put a command strip in each corner and again these are command strips from last year oh that one's just come completely off the wall you can see look where it was last year where i didn't get painted over i've just bought the grout <laughs> just the filler so that one has say 40 by 40 just two smaller ones what are they about an inch and a half two inches just a small one in the corner there that one will need to go in my folder so that can go 
over there with its friends. I've got a little owl looking at me there as now well. Now then, these magnetic frames, to be honest, one on the back is fine. I do usually put a little bit of tape just behind the painting. You can get that like double-sided picture tape and uh, do it that way. Right. None of these are sealed, so I do need to be a little bit more careful with these until they go back in my folder. So I'm going to put this one a little bit lower down, yeah. This one's got <laughs> a big strip already on the wall and a small strip on the back. This is where I was sort of um, changing them out, deciding what I was doing and what I wasn't doing. So, yeah, these are actually um, self-adhesive. So these frames, you can actually take the backing off and stick the frame onto the wall. But I prefer them with the white backing and just using a command strip. They are designed, as I say, to actually take this backing off, this white covering, and then you just get literally a clear frame. Uh, let me just see if I can get a little bit off. Yeah, look, they're actually a clear frame. So you would stick that to the wall. All this is sticky, but I don't want them like that. I prefer to be able to move them around um, and just use my command strips on but them. That did have a different picture there. Now, I think, let me just double check. Yeah, if you've got wallpaper, I would be very, very careful because I can imagine that wallpaper isn't going to fare very well with some of these uh, cheaper sticky ones. Um, and I do use these in my craft room as well. I've got some... Oh, now that must be a real one. Usually the ones that have got the arrows on are the real Lily ones. is hiding under the chair. She's not quite sure what's going on. Are you looking after that Christmas bag down there? Yeah, you're not quite sure what's going on and what Mummy's talking about, are you? No, I know. I don't know what I'm talking about either. <laughs> So these, again, are just a single one. So I'll just take these down. Again, they are self-adhesive on the back. Oh, that's my little Scotty dog uh, little cookie jar that I was bought for Christmas. Look, let's... Uh, the lid... Oops. It does come off, so I can store some little treasures in there. But that's really, really cute. Look at that little face it's even got his tongue out look and it's got his tam shanter and its little shawl on all in tartan uh, oh and this was uh, present to myself present from hubby uh, yeah it's actually a dog toy would you believe but it's the monopoly scotty and i got that from pets at home and i just saw it and i thought i've got to have that it does actually squeak but i'm not going to squeak it because i don't want millie to have it uh, yeah i'm going to be keeping that one. Oh, one of my music boxes has decided to join in as well <laughs> uh, this one the lights that were on it actually broke so that'll be just going away as is i don't need to check the batteries on that one. Oh, and now i've got myself stuck this is what happens and now i've just dropped the picture <laughs> oh dear right yeah it would be a liz video would it if there wasn't something went wrong yeah, just get the command strip stuck to my jumper. So this one had, to be honest, a lot of the time it just tends to be whatever I've got available. These were the cheap big ones that I decided to use up. And that owl is absolutely gorgeous. This owl was from Fan Cells. Somebody asked me where the owl was from. He was from Fan Cells. Oh. So we'll take him down. He was only on a small one. So yeah, I would say as small as you can get away with really because they're not re they're not that heavy as such and you are spreading the weight you can see from last year look where i've got white patches <laughs> oh dear yeah we were supposed to be doing so much this year we were going to get decorated and all sorts oops but it can be done this year or even next year oh, i'm getting these stuck to me now look as well yay Gosh, I bet you didn't think you'd be watching a video of somebody pulling the band strips off the wall, did you? <laughs> so I can't reach that one without a chair, so I'm not even going to try. It's a good job there's no cobwebs in the corner, just to prove I do actually clean sometimes. <laughs> uh, this one again has got two small ones on it. And I'm not quite sure why I did that. I think it's where it's been in the past. Um, yeah, so it's got the two small ones on it. So that's that one. That one's still quite creased. But I say, once they're in the frames and on the wall, 
you don't really see the it. The picture has actually got, I think, three of the larger command strips, which are like the, what are they, about three inches, three or four inches, one in each corner and then one across the middle because this is a bit heavier. Um, but I'm not taking that one down, that one is staying up. Uh, this is a big sticker, so that will be when I find the carrier sheet for it, just peel it back off the wall and put it on the carrier sheet. This is my huge painting that I didn't get a chance to get my frame for. Um, again, I've just literally put, I think, have I got two on this one? Yeah, just two strips on this one. Um, I should have put it on foam board, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, it has just literally got two of the medium size. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, there's a dog on the television. <laughs> uh, two of the medium size. It needed um, iron in. It needed sorting out that one. But anyway, it went up and it made up a little bit of Christmas anyway. Right, this is a roundy one. Um, off, look, you can see where I've had them from previous years. So I just put that one up. That was an actual, like that, 30 by 30. And I cut that one out. So, yeah. Still love it. It's the bottom I love. This design at the bottom with all the ABs are gorgeous. This one, again, um, is just, I think this one's just one because it's like a hanging down. Um, a hanging down decoration. So that one, again, just one command strip there. And all these pictures stay here. Uh, well all the frames stay here because this is going to be well this is it'll be valentine's corner next then it will be easter and then it'll be summer or whatever so these are, will i'll probably leave these up until i bring the new ones down to put in the frames so my little gnome corner can stay so that's a 40 by 40 frame it is just pair spec so it's quite a nice light frame um, and all the others are just literally i think that one's got one in the middle that one's one in the middle, that one's one in the middle there. That one, I think I did put two small ones either side of the box. This is my little light up one, I love him. Really do love that. That one's got one at the top there. Oh, I'll take this one down. This one's the little gnomes, <laughs> I love that one. Again, that's one of the plate ones, so it came on a 30 by 30 and I've just cut him out. So yeah, I'll leave all these guys up for now. Oh, I've got to take those down. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what they'll end up like. These all want putting away in my box. My little decorations. My little cup there. I'll have to get my folder down to put all those in. I've got my little Noel and my little notebook. I'll keep my notebook out because I will be using him at some point. Might put my Christmas cards log, log in him. Uh, yeah, and I love that one. So that one will go away for next year as well. It tends to be actually the hooks that uh, I've got that tend to take most of the um, paint off the wall. These are too bad. Oop. It is quite fun doing this. It's a bit like popping balloons though. You're never quite sure when it's going to go. <laughs> how it's going to get you uh, possibly doing it two-handed would be better I'll just get this one off oops yeah i say i found that the real command strips tend to be a lot better than the cheap. yeah so that's the cheaper ones that i've taken off and yeah, as you can see they've pulled sort of the top layers of play uh, paint 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 and just left plaster on the walls so they'll need filling and then repainting. But uh, yeah, so mm, maybe false economy, actually buying the cheaper ones. Mm, let's get the princess off. The wooden ones tend to come off a lot easier because they're a lot thicker. So that's my Disney princesses. Should have got the ladders. That's that one. And that's another plate that I cut out. Oops, that's that one. Uh, that's oh, that one. I put two on it because if you put one in the middle with it not being on foam board and it being square, it um, started curling in on itself. So you can get away with it on some, particularly if they've got like a good edge, because there's the weight to keep them out. But sometimes you do need to put 
extra ones on and then that one will just come down as well these are on hooks uh, so yeah i've used the string that was on them these are the hooks as i say that you tend to find when you take these off that uh, yeah you do get some residue left over and then my little reindeer in the corner oh hang on just pull my tree out the way oh got him right okay so that's the pile of these to go in my box right got most of the lit ones at the bottom so let's put the trays in it's a really good size box this you can get the 12 by 12 scrapbook in uh, pages so, <coughs> sorry boxes um, and they tend to be quite good as well for storing diamond painting things, particularly wreaths, because they're just about the right size. Keep the painting ones out of the way. And just put those in. Okay. And then we'll put the reindeer on top. Just keeps them all nice and flat together as well. Right. Let's see what else we've got. Okay. So I now have more mess than when I started. <laughs> So I've got to try and pack all this lot away now, so let's have a bit of fun, see if we can do it. Right, okay, so first things first. Um, this is the box that the two little lights from Craft Buddy go in, so I've brought that downstairs. Um, oh, I've got two pieces of cover sheet that have come off pictures. Um, so that's for the light switch things and the robbing off the mirror, so I'll get those in a second. I've got a huge... Uh, diamond art storage folder this is the one that came from Timo it is very wide so I thought because it's wider it might hold uh, my special drill Christmas ones a bit better so I'm going to put them in that one for now uh, first of all I need to take batteries out of everything as well so where's my battery pot yep this little uh, thing from Timo that's a pencil box I've actually started putting batteries in it at the moment so uh, any batteries that I've used oh that's a brand new pack let me just get those out uh, any batteries that I've used then I'm popping them in there and then I can test them later on and see what I've got never goes on properly this either that or it's me not doing it properly there you so, are batteries out these have completely gone I don't know that so these can be thrown away and we have somebody that collects the batteries and takes them all away for us so that they don't go to landfill we've got a person that does uh, store them for us these are starting to get a little bit worn actually as well these are the ones where you put the little uh, item in there's all sorts of different things you can get to go in these stands and then it sort of like glows up from the bottom and gives you different colours so that's that one this santa i don't like these with the button i think these are a lot easier to use this one's been used as well so these are all ready to go to i don't know whether they get recycled or not i don't really know what happens to them i just know that it's a, a good way to get rid of them right, let's flatten that one down so and then we've got the trees with the little Santa hanging there. That one wants taking apart. Oh, he's got a little bit stuck. Take him apart there. So I'll just get everything flattened. This Santa is another one that he's just got a little bit of a glow left look just to change his colours, but not a lot. So those batteries won't be worth using again so they can all go right okay it's amazing how long the batteries do actually last in these things it's not something that i think oh no i'm not getting anything with batteries because nothing lasts because actually they do and they're pretty good that goes into a flat piece like that I'll just hook that over there. I try and keep things together if I can, and then it was, it saves playing. Guess who belongs to who when I take them out again next year? <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
okay the batteries are in this one so this these want to come out of here i think it was the two or was the three in this one no just the two so that's that one done that's in that back on there so lots of different ones right i need to take my canvases out of my frames the frames on the floor this oh that's just a, one of those little headbands which i wish i'd got some more of those i say that all the time i'm gonna have to start buying things as i come across them right these are all the small ones so i'll pop those on one side that's my snowman and it's 30 by 30 smaller one again I love this owl, he's gorgeous. I suppose really you could leave him out, but um, I might put him up somewhere. I don't know. I'll see, I've got so many others that I like that I want to put up as well. That's 30 by 30. These will have to go in my box. These are actually, let me just get you on foam board. It's got a little bit battered. As I say, these were the first ones that I did. Um, yeah, so they have kept pretty well they are going a little bit at the corners so i'm a little bit mm, whether i'm going to put things on foam board again in the future or not i'm not sure i have got a lot of foam board though definitely my bigger pictures need to go on foam board but smaller ones i'm not quite so sure yet it has got quite dented that one so that's him that's the christmas stocking um that's the other santa on that foam board so yeah he just has his command strip on the back there that just gets popped up each year that's another one there that's the little sign so that goes on top that's my little oops snowman family to go away right oh, that's another picture frame i love this one as well See, last year I just had this one up with command strips, but this year I decided to put it in a frame. So you can mix and match. Oops. Sorry, the camera work's not brilliant because I'm sat with this between my knees. <laughs> so if it suddenly starts moving around, that's why. <laughs> okay, that's an empty one. That's the Robin wreath, so that can go in the box. That's my little jumpy up and down Santa. Now oh, then this is, oh, this one's got stuck a bit. That's a, they're all paintings to go away. Oops, hang on, we're slipping again. Right, let's grab this. Don't want these set of wires to get stuck. Yep, they've just got wrapped around there. So this is uh, one of my favourite wreaths with the uh, little great tits on it. They're not blue tits because they've got uh, the little stripe down the tummies. So they're a great tit or a curl tit. I'm not quite sure which. But uh, yeah, they're a little bit bigger than a blue tit. Blue tits are tiny, really tiny. So take those out of there. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm sort of reminding you and reminding myself, take batteries out of everything. Because you don't want to come back and they're a mess next year. Yeah, it's not a good look. Oh, it slides, it slides. Slide, Liz, slide. Got a bit of plaster stuck there, look. Oh, dear. That's not good. <laughs> so, I've got Robins. I've got my two stars there. Uh, have I got any more reeds? Now then, that one doesn't actually fit in a 12 by 12 frame. Um. That one doesn't fit in one of the magnetic frames because it is actually a true 30 by 30 and I can't really cut it down. I could cut the sides a little bit, but the actual uh, length from top to bottom, I can't do anything about that. So that has to stay as is. So that probably will go on foam board at some point. Right, so oh, that's another one of those reindeers. Um, I have got those off the wall. The little glue dots that they came with that have held them up all Christmas uh, have actually just peeled off the wall and not taken any paint off, so they were a really good buy. Right, more canvases. And my little Robin. I love this Robin. He's come out really, really well. Pop 
him over there. Okay. And oh, that's the other part to that. And we've got a beer grease. This is what one ooh, Christmas before last, I think. So I wasn't keen on the colours on this one, but he's okay. I like him. I kept him. And more pictures. Gingerbread house. Take him out. Gosh. You don't realise how much you've got till so you start packing it away. Right, that's oops, all the rest of those little uh, hang, uh, little um, um, corner things from Timo. <laughs> right, and then these are these are the bigger pictures. So that's the big one. That's the big one, and that's the big sticker. So I've put that one back. On his carrier sheet there that was the teddy bear i've still not brought the carrier sheet down for the christmas tree i'm not quite sure where i've put it it's in a safe place and i don't know where that safe place is right now okay so these all want to go in the box the box is sort of half fullish now so i'll just put a few more bits in and then start packing round put the little picture frame frame down this side if I can get it down there try and keep it square yeah put that there that just protects it a little bit um, I want to go that better. no that's the best way to go because that's a little bit wider at that side two Christmas trees can go on top with their little bases so that they all stay together so then hopefully as I take them out next year They'll all come out at the same time. Ha ha ha! Famous last words. Right. More of these little bits. Um, um, put them down there. Put the hanger there. Put another hanger there. We've got the little welcome sign. Will he just slot down there? Yes, he will. Will he? Yes, he will. These are all sealed now, so I don't have to worry about any of the bits coming off them now. They're all uh, nicely protected. So that's those can go over there in that corner. Right, and then the new ones this year, the little snowman, the smaller wreath, and then the pink tree and the lovely green tree. A little owl we'll pop him there so he's just keeping those nice and flat and straight there's the stands for those just put them down there so I've got this lovely little scene so we'll put all this down in this corner this is the little christmas tree and the santa and the reindeer looks like reindeer i've got my uh, little gnome purse and i'm just going to put all my uh, little key rings and everything in this one and I thought that's quite a fat purse. <laughs> Two little hanger ones. They can just go in there. Sorry, this camera's moved again. This tripod has got to be the worst tripod I've ever had. It's actually a selfie stick. And you're supposed to be able to stand your phone on it. But is it standing up? Is it heck? It keeps wanting to jump into the box. It's obviously tired. <laughs> All right, we'll put those down the sides as well. Just as a little bit of padding. Okay, that's that light up Santa. It's amazing how it all goes away as well, how it all just packs away nicely. It's the Christmas stocking. And then those two pictures will just go on top. If I put them cheek to cheek, I have sealed those pictures as well, so it does just keep them that little bit uh, safer. This uh, headband, this actually slips off here. So I'll take that off, put the headband into the box and put that in there like that. So actually it'll slip down that way, won't it? That's better. I've uh, got my little craft buddy Rudolph, he can go away as well. I think the rest are more or less pictures and those lights that I've got. Uh, oh, coasters. Coasters away as well. Try and keep all my diamond painting stuff together so I know where it is. Glasses case. 
okay what have i got in here oh all oh, right oh i've already got some special drills that i've done so i'll start at the back then um i think these are all top loader ones yes they are so we'll get some of these i haven't got all the christmas ones because i'm not taking them all down yet but i should be able to get these put away oh just throw them all over liz why don't you just throw them all over <laughs> right small cut out oh there's the notebook <laughs> uh, i keep that as small even though it's a sticker a bit larger small small that one should fit in because these are a little bit bigger pages See, when they've got big gems on them like that, they tend to stand out quite a bit. They're cut out ones. That's that one. That's a, that one. Oh, I still think that's one of my favourites this year. It's that scarf. I absolutely love the texture on that scarf. It's amazing. That one. That's a cut out. That's a cut out. Slightly bigger ones in first. If you get the art dot ones of these cases, then they actually load from the middle and not the top, and they're nowhere near as sort of fighty to get things in. Let's see if I can do it this way. Move stuff around a bit. That might be better. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, and I do only put oh <laughs> not even put it in. <laughs> Yeah, I do only put one in each sleeve because of the bumps and everything that are on them. So, yeah. The larger gems really do make them quite bulky. I think this one is going to be quite good. Oh, look, I'm not putting them in. Quite good for my Christmas ones if I can get them in there. I probably will put some A3 black card in behind each one of these as well. I do need to go to uh, the range and buy some more that seems to be about the cheapest place and um, it just keeps them a little bit flatter and straighter and keeps the pages from rolling up as well that's that one is that the next page yeah some of these are feel like they're sticking together but that's okay i can always uh, add an extra one in between okay one of the way as well Ooh, this one's only just fitting in oh that's because it's got a command strip there yeah that's a true 30 by 30 so they only just fit in but at least it does fit now then can i get two of these on a page let's see I might be able to. Will that one go in with that one? Uh, should be okay, albeit when I pick it up it might flop out. So we'll see how it goes. Let's put this one in. Tidy them away. I'll put a smaller one in with it as well. Yeah, they're going to overlap a little bit, but they should be okay. We'll see how it goes. I'll see what I think when uh, I've got them all put away, when I've got everything taken down. This is just my first offence at uh, <laughs> taking them down. Oh, my goodness. I hate it when you take all your Christmas decorations down. Your room just looks so bare. It's awful. I don't like it. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to leave that one to the top because those jewels are absolutely huge. Look at the uh, depth on those. And that one does tend to stick out quite a bit. So, yeah, I used to put that on my front cover, actually, on my other ones. Um, if you get the little bit more expensive of the black folders, then they have one on the front. Um, they have like a pocket on the front that you can put diamond paintings in. So, yeah. A little bit more expensive okay oh it's gone ever so dark i think we're in for a massive storm we had loads of rain last night oh my goodness me i thought it was never gonna stop raining it was dreadful right and then just these last couple 
So the larger ones won't fit in, they'll have to go in my A2 folder. This is an A3 size folder. I'll put Owl in a separate one. Because he's uh, special. <laughs> and then we'll just put that one in there. So yeah, I think this has actually got more pages in it as well than a lot of the just black standard folders. So that should now, yeah, and I've got those in the front. Oh, I love that one with the guinea pig on it. Look at the parrots. Oh, and the nitty budgerigar at the top there. Oh, you didn't see the guinea pig, did you? He's down here, look, in this corner. I think this is one I did for Smashing the Specials, not last year, year before. So, yeah, I am getting ready for Smashing the Specials as well. So that's another reason why I need to tidy up. Right, and then I'm just going to pop these in the front of here for now so that I know where they are. Oops. And then that will just keep them a little bit flatter to carry them upstairs. Yeah, I won't put the little card on at the moment because it will just squash everything. So that's those done. Okay. And uh, I did actually get around to sealing my little gonks as well. So if you remember, I said when I got these gonks, because they're such a lovely shape, I've sealed them and I'm actually going to cut them out and put them either on magnets or something, possibly magnets to put them on the fridge, because I think three little uh, gnomes would look quite nice on the fridge. And I am going to theme my kitchen as bees because I've got a bee clock that I made in the kitchen and I'm going to put some of my other bee pictures and things in there um, once we've got it decorated. And then I thought these would look quite nice as magnets on the fridge. So I'll either put them onto um, magnetic, you can get like um, magnetic, well not paper, but magnetic sheets. And some of them are self-adhesive so I could stick this on and then just cut around it with a craft knife or a good pair of scissors or an old pair of scissors I would suggest because I would think magne magnetic paper will um, or magnetic sheets will blunt your scissors quite quickly um, and then I'll have these as fridge magnets and then even the little bee is a really nice shape but I wanted to seal them first so that those edges are solid so that when I'm cutting them out the gems aren't popping off so Watch this space, that's uh, for future 2024, what can I say, goodness me. So lots in store, um, have a wonderful New Year's Day, New Year everybody. And uh, yeah, keep watching. If you've enjoyed uh, this sort of like strange video of taking things down and pulling command strips off walls, <laughs> then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'd love you to subscribe, stay with us, come back and uh, yeah, see what mad things we get up to next time. It does get more interesting than just pulling command strips off walls, honest. <laughs> okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. Uh, don't forget to press that subscribe button down in this corner and then the all notifications bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, thanks for coming. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.